And now I humbly invite your grace to lead us in this Eucharistic celebration. Thank you and welcome your grace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Peace be to you all. So before I lead you through this Mass, I want to say thank you for leading me to this place. Thank you for the reception which enables us to celebrate this occasion with a lot of joy and fulfillment together as a family, and especially focusing on our younger people whom God is molding for his own greater glory and for the salvation of mankind. We are very proud of these young people, a gift of God to humanity, to this church, their families. Thank you very much, uh, Martha. Martha is the one who led me up to the altar here as a, a, a guard. She was a bodyguard up to here. And now we want to ask Jesus Christ to be a bodyguard to everybody, even Martha herself. And he will do it in a such a, in a, such a way that he brings the Holy Spirit to be upon those ones who are going to receive the sacrament of confirmation. The sacrament of the Holy Spirit in which Jesus Christ himself received at your age. When he was at 12, your age bracket was at your age. And he said, the Spirit of God is upon me. And he has joined me, anointed me to do one, two, three, four things for the good of people of God and for the salvation of their lives. This we are reminded also in Luke chapter 2, verse 52. When they say that Jesus Christ who received the Holy Spirit, he grew in physic, he grew in wisdom, he grew in spirit, and he grew also in favor of people around him. Let us pray for these young people in a special way, that they will grow that way. We hand them over to God today under our supervision, our care, in the environment in which they live. I confess to Almighty God, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of His glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.